Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Andalan, my single player survival world and here I am in the top floor of the tavern and this is the the master bedroom for the tavern owner. Done a little bit of deco in it so I can open up the closets, there's a storage in there, a beds, bookcases, there's probably things I can put in here which I'm not thought of. But for the moment this is as far as I've got. I've also got little guest rooms now in place. Same on this side, a smaller one there. Uh, and then, again, I just put basic decoration in there, a few pictures and beds. I uh, put that in like a little closet for the, uh, the maid or the cleaner to uh, come and store some stuff. I put little plants in as well as we've gone around. Again, these are all pretty much the same. Um, beds, chests, and so forth. As you go further down, there is less decor in the room because it seems that the, the room is on top. I'll shut these doors. Uh, a more pricey rooms, perhaps. And there's like a little common room there. And then back down to the bottom floor. And we've done some tables and chairs. Clock over the fireplace. I was tying up some of my chest and I found an extra clock. Hence why that is there. A little kitchen area. Um, possibly put things, some things on the shelves as well. Got a little cooking area here, thinking that's when I might do meals. However, I'm not too sure it makes it more like a kitchen than a bar. So what I might do at some point is take further down here as a staircase. And underneath, I was planning on maybe doing a wine cellar or some sort of cellar below at the tavern. Maybe do that in a, a cooking kitchen area, a kitchen area down there, so it's a possibility to do. Just finish doing some more decor around here. That was a blank area, totally blank. So I've, I'll put this, the greenery around it to look like growing ivy. Ooh, okay, okay, we're not getting involved with you. Yes, we are. Thanks, Mr. Creeper. Appreciate that. I didn't realise you was there and tried to run and my key didn't respond. Oh, matter that I need sorting out, I'll sort that out later. Um, yeah, so I've got the greenery around here. Make sure there's no more of those creepers. About, so I wasn't expecting, I thought I slept straight away. Uh, put some more greenery around. That's not, doesn't look quite, looks like it's all boxing around it, but never mind. And this side, there's flowers at the bottom, but nothing on that level. I'm not, it's quite blank. I might add something up there. Just sort of try and vary up a little bit, but it does look a bit bare, but I'll, I'll see. But yeah, that's all done now. I've put this pathway in, coming here from the doctor here. Put some grass around here. And this side of the houses, I've continued uh, this fence and hedgerow around there just to sort of box it off and give them a little bit of privacy from sort of the passing traffic. And likewise for the pond here. Put that little hedgerow, which just sort of unboxes in the pond area, a little pathway into here to get into it. Just give me a little pathway through to here, because I do plan back here. I've cleared out all the podsel. We're back here, plan on the boat, wherever I'm at base now. Uh, put in some, uh, some housing around here. So that is something I'll be doing at some point in the near future. But um, other things I've doing, I've been doing, I did some more caving. Um, there was a mine shaft I found over that way underground. Um, I explored that, I've basically stripped it out of all the rail and stuff like that so I can use it later on. Uh, I've now got 21 diamonds which is very good, I'm happy with that. I need to take some of this lapis out because uh, my chest is filling up with it extensively so I'll pop that into there. I'll just harvest my sugar cane which is growing well. Um, so yeah, I've got some enchanting to do. Completed that map altogether, and I've done that area down here. And it was doing that area down there. I found another treasure map. Actually, I found three, two. Where there's a treasure spot somewhere down there, which I've already got. I got that very early on. But there's another one somewhere in that area, and also I've got one. Where I did that map? I found one up there. So I have these two treasure maps. 
so that is the one which is somewhere up there and that is the one which is somewhere down there so I thought first things first I'll get these two sorted out um, and we'll go and find these two treasures and see what they've got to offer um, let me see if we've got two pieces of things so what I'll do I'll head over there and I'll catch up over there and we'll go and see what there is Okay, been digging around here. Happened to be underwater this one. Eventually found it. I'm not opened the chest yet. A diamond, some emerald, iron. Another heart to see, that's good. There we go, right. You say it's night time now. Let's grab that piece of sand there. I lit up this island a little bit just to give me a little bit of assistance so I wasn't getting too bombarded with mobs. Oh, there's a trident. They hurt. Oh, and he's got a shell as well. Let's go around the street a second. Trident, trident, no. Boo. Right, but yeah, around this side, uh, icebergs. Um, first sighting of these this season. I don't think I must have I've been this far out, so I have to try and bear that in mind for the future if I, have, I need ice. I have a source of them here. some more mobs out, a bit more XP, do some enchanting when we get back home. So, um, so which map was that? That's not that one. That's that one. So that one's completed. So uh, we'll go to this next one. Oh, hello. Are you got a shell or a trident by chance? Are you just out for the swim? Are you out for the swim? Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave here now and start heading back to the area uh, for the next map. So I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Bye, Mr. Gellison. Oh, he got me. Got me twice. It's all fair. Okay, second island. I think we're about here. Have a look. Aha, there it is. Uh, much as, as much as the same as the other chests, we'll take it nonetheless. I stopped off at the island. My pa I passed my island on the way here, so I stopped off and dropped the last chest off. Okay. Um. Before I think I will go and start building. I'm clearing my stuff out. I'm going to do a little bit of enchanting. Um. I do want an axe and a spade. I'll do another pickaxe as well. I think I would also like a good helmet. And I'd definitely go to try and get another pair of boots which are suitable for uh with feather I've got feather falling three, so three or four will do me just fine. So let's start off with depth strider three, that might be worth doing. Blast protection, nothing special. Efficiency force, a decent one. That will be efficiency four as well. I tell you what, I'm going to go for the depth strider three on the boots. I'll put all that in there. That's not bad. With feather falling three, I'm, I'm getting a nice pair of boots coming up there. Respiration three is good. If I, if force three came up there, then obviously I go with the force three. Um, that been breaking three, so will the axe. I go with respiration three, just respiration three, right? Efficiency three, efficiency three. Oh, um, can I just get a book? Oh, let me just chuck some stuff in there a second. I need some more books in there, actually. Aqua infinity, yes, that can go into the helmet. That's good. Um, 
That's all I've got left to do. Just these three. I'm breaking three. I don't have the pickaxe. Fortune two. Oh, right. What we're I'm looking for efficiency four is coming up next. So, pop you in there. Pop you in there. Drop you into there. I want to take you out. So, respiration and I can refinish it. Perfect. Feather falling, that's 18. The other way around, six, we'll do that. Just saving these up at the moment. You've been, you've been done. That's most of my damage used up again, which is fine. That's what they're there for, to be used up. Uh, there's some stuff here. So, I will go and, some my books up while I'm here. I'll clear out and then I'll, I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys, welcome back. Just started laying out the foundations for the next build. That's back here. I've extended the grass down here, covering a lot of the sand. Dad here, I'm going to put a cafe in here. A little bit of a patio over here and down here as well. Might take this grass a little bit further down. I put the pathway down against the the dock area down. Um, I still I've got to fill in that down there. Let's see if I can run that pattern down here, and then decide whether I tear off this altogether here, or whether I bring this round the edge here or not. I don't know. I think I might just, I'm t tempted just to sort of end it here and just tear it off. But we'll see. I haven't decided fully on that yet. So. So that is. I've got the doors with me. I've got the doors with me. No, that's wrong. Doors are there and there. Make sure cobblestone and the site just around the base here. Just spread them out randomly. Actually, I'm going to one tool. I'll take the person to come in here. A little bit of a counter around here, door to go out and serve customers down here. The double doors main in here, yes. I'm just gonna get another door for that. So, what I'm gonna do is get the, actually, I'm gonna go one higher, don't I? I'm gonna get these walls up around here, and then um, we'll come back in and we'll look at the roof and uh, some of the decorations around it. So, I shall be back in a minute. Okay, walls are up. Left these two walls without any windows in. There were the counter, there might have things hanging on the wall and so forth, baking stuff more obvious, so that's why they've been blocked off and not being used as windows. And I'm gonna go for a flatter roof, primarily because the people in the tavern don't want a big roof sticking up, spoiling their view. Well, that's the argument I'm using. So I'm gonna go for a flat roof here. down right that's the roof on and I've got some colored wool and this is where I might just change out this one bit actually Just going to put shears on me. 
And this is like a... Just do it like so. Is that too low? I think that's a little bit too low there, isn't it? That doesn't look right as well. Um, so let me just try and then... That's better. prefer that. Pickaxe, please. Slit as well. Must I remember to pop a couple of torches up there and some light in here before I start getting Bob spawn in there? Uh, best move you actually. You're in the way, workbench. You're in the way. I think I need that minute. Any logs in here? Is that under this one there? Is it? There we go. And that can go there, like so. Provide that little bit of support. I was tempted to bring this all the way around the edge, but I don't think I'll bother. I'll just leave it there. So, um, actually, I want to be making some cakes for this. I have no idea how to make a cake. Uh, sugar, wheat, eggs. And three milk, right? Um, let's go with some sugar and flour. Right, got sugar, flour, eggs, and is that, excuse me, scout. Thank you. Make a cake. So let's make a few more of these. I think I'm going to go for light colour flowing in here just because I'm it's the cafe, it's bright and light. There's some slabs already. You know, it's nice, bright, light, airy places by the sea. Right. Okay, flooring's in. I'm going to put a counter in now. So, we'll start off. We'll do the back of the counter first. <coughs> Excuse me. So clear my throat a bit there. So. We've got three. Actually, I'm not going to put them right in the corner. At the back, that, and then they can put the. Put them in like that. And so then the work. Someone's going down again. It's not giving me much time at all today. I'll put you there. I'll put you there. And you there. And then I'll just take rid of you. And then I'll get on the back. Do 
do want to do is put you under that. That's one too high. Actually, you know, I like that. It's just a slight variation, it just gives it like it's connecting it up to the ceiling. None left. Quickly make another. I said I'm just going to quickly sleep before we get mobbers around here. Apologies for my squeaky chair. And then we can put around there and just put you in there. And I think I'll just put one more of the supports in just there. And then. And what we might do is just put a little That's maybe a little counter there. And we've got maybe a couple of cakes on display there. And there's uh perhaps Another cake on there. Oops. Do I want this final cake in a right? Up on the top shelf, perhaps. Maybe above the counter there. Like that. I've got any chests with me for their storage. So let's take these eggs, sugar, and flour, and the take the chest as well. Got any item frames? I haven't. I see. Um, if I, I'm gonna make another cake, and what I can do, put that cake on their sign outside. Just gonna name the cake as well. We can just actually got the um bakery then named up. Not the bakery, the cafe. Thank you, Mr. Cow. Or Mrs. Cow perhaps. Ooh. I think I'll bother with him. I still haven't made the cake, have I? Very original Seafront Cafe. Just because I've not, I didn't actually think about making a name just until now. Where's the item frame? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. It's not even an odd number. Great. I'll tell you what, I'll put a cake there make some bread and put bread in the other one there you go, cake and sandwiches that sort of thing try to jump and failed put chest there Maybe just up there. Trap door there. I got a bit of storage for them. Picture. Oops. Randomly placing things. There is the um, picture of 
the cut of it, I've not got enough, have I? Which we can maybe try and get. I'll start going too fast and up here and I'll miss it. There we are. Gives them a little bit of curry. And now I put the sugar and the eggs. And then on here. Maybe some sandwiches are available to buy. Right, that so far is where we're going. So I've got lighting there. I always like to make sure the torch is placed in a similar position all the way around. One there, one there. Go one higher then. There we go. Right. I think that's not far off from being done in here. So what I need to do is clear out the flooring outside here. And then we'll get a few tables and chairs outside done. And then that should be about done. I shall be back in a minute. Okay guys, welcome back. I've finished the build off now. Also, i finished off, well I've just built it in. Trickling this down to the end here. I think I'm just going to wrap it up here and just have a little bit of a beach area here. This is tied up this bit of footpath here. I'm still waiting for one tree to grow. Thank you for the tree. But this is what we've got so far. So I've created a little closed off area here. And also one around the back and I've tidied up around the back with a little hedgerow, which I will finish off a bit around here when that tree eventually decides to grow. I've also renamed the cafe to Cafe Peony because I've planted quite a few peonies around the place just to give it a little bit of colour, nice and bright. There's like the little, as well, little shelves in there just to add some more colour. I sort of, I filled in the gap between here to sort of bone mill it in between, put a little pathway that sneaks between the two. Uh, and that'll come out to whatever we put back here. Put the appropriate grass, grassings just around the edge like that, you know, the, the greenery growing up around the back. Inside, a little bit of a rearrangement. I just made it a flat counter down to one side. I think it just spaced out, it looks a bit nicer that way. Um, put little things around it like the jacket potato, well, baked potato, something to drink, fish, chicken, bed, that sort of thing, and the shelving unit on top. That one's a one way around, isn't it? You know what, I'm going to leave it, it looks a bit different, that's fine. Um, half, oh, someone's sort of had a slice of cake, some more cake there, a little plant, that sort of thing. Just finish it off a little bit nicer. And wraps up, I'm waving the bed around, aren't I? Like a zombie now. Not sure where it is. I've added some more chests along the front just to sort of keep up the theme. What we've got here, like with those there, might still move them, I don't know yet, but I might put a bit some more on this corner as well. Just to wrap that up. But so once that's done, um, and then they say that the, I've got this working all the way around here. I'm going to sort of wrap this up here, just tidy it up and finish that off there, that'll be fine. And then we'll leave this as it is then. And then the space at the back here to do stuff. And then we'll have a pathway, which will go out there to the lighthouse when we eventually get around to building it. So I think that is it for this episode. I'm gonna wrap this up now. Get this edited and get it out as soon as I can. The only other thing I think I've done, I did some more fishing. Uh, got a few more books in there. Um, also got a, a look at look at the C2 fishing rod, so I will merge that with that one at some point, just to make it up. I've also merged my bows up now, so now I've got a power three with mending on it. 
So that's quite nice, that's coming along. So I'm getting a decent bow out of the fishing anyway. Just quite nice to sit there and do that, it's quite relaxing, especially when I'm, I'm on the phone chatting to my parents, something like that. You can just sit and fish quite happily without having to really cost anything anything that much. It's fairly easy to make the most of it and capitalise on it. But that is it, that's our cafe done up and running. I keep waiting for that tree to grow, hopefully, but it's not growing yet. Never mind. So I'll get edited and uploaded. Uh, so I'll sleep in the tavern tonight. But if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to keep up to date with all my latest videos. And as usual, comments below are always welcome. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.